In this video, we'll demystify a process called demyelination, which literally means the loss of myelin. Myelin is a fatty substance that surrounds and protects the nerves in your brain and spinal cord. Think of it as the electrical insulation around a wire. In these cases, the body's immune system mistakenly attacks the myelin sheath, causing inflammation and damage. This can lead to a wide range of symptoms, from fatigue and muscle weakness to vision problems and balance issues. Its job is to keep the wires in your body which are called neurons, safe and sound. But what happens when this protective covering is damaged or destroyed? That's where things get really complicated. They can help you assess your risk factors and develop a plan to keep your nerves healthy and protected. So it's important that we do everything we can to keep them healthy and safe. When a myelin sheath is damaged, it can disrupt the electrical signals that travel through the neuron, affecting muscle control, coordination, and balance. And if left untreated, demyelination can lead to permanent nerve damage. But whatever the cause, the result is always the same, a breakdown of the protective covering around your nerves. So what causes this breakdown of the myelin sheath? Well, it's often the result of an autoimmune disease, like multiple sclerosis. This is why it is so important to understand the causes of demyelination and to take steps to protect yourself from developing these conditions. In some cases, the body can remyelinate the affected nerves, meaning that the myelin sheath can be repaired and the electrical signals can flow normally again, but this is not always possible, especially if the nerve damage is severe or widespread. Demyelination can also be caused by a viral infection or even nutritional deficiencies. Now, the human body is a remarkable thing. And when it comes to repairing damaged nerves, it's up to the individual to do the work. When remyelination doesn't occur, the damaged myelin cannot be repaired, and the affected nerves may die. At the end of the day, our nerves are what allow us to move, feel and interact with the world around us. 